Welcome to another Preventure Adventure, and uh, tonight, <laughs> I've had this place on my list for a while. Um, it's been here under the same name since I was in high school. Oops, sorry, I'm zooming in on myself. About the last thing anyone wants here. Um, it's been here under the same name since I was in high school, and I graduated high school in 1975, so you do the math. And it's in uh, the Jewett City section of Griswold, Connecticut, and it's Jewett City Pizza Palace. And um, I was talking to the people inside. The owners that have it now have owned it 41 years. There was someone that owned it before it had the same name. And I remember it, though I don't recall ever coming here. It was well known when I was in high school, which was like two towns up. Because on certain nights, and I don't know what it was, Friday, Saturday, I don't know when it was, but they're open till 3 in the morning, which was virtually unheard of then and even now. Now they have pretty normal hours because the people that have been here have been here 41 years, and I'm sure they don't want to be staying until 3. But it's just, uh, it's amazing that it's still here under the same name, and except for me going in there, because it's my first time that I recall going in here. If I did, it was 40 years ago. And... Uh, they're all with all the customers. They're all on first name basis, so it's it's a it's a local legend among people who live around here. So let me show you what I got. Got myself an order of coleslaw, a couple of their meatballs, and the pepperoni pizza. So uh, I was supposed to ask them, telling my kept telling myself, asking if they make their own meatballs, but I wasn't. I was too busy talking about other stuff, so I didn't get there. So we'll find out. All right, hold on while I set up the camera and we'll check it out. All right, here we go. No bibs. Jeffrey, you could be in for another treat. Jeffrey enjoys it when I spill things on me. Jeffrey Saputo, somewhere from Western Connecticut. Nice tangy coleslaw. I don't know what to say about these meatballs. They're good. They're well enough done that I can't tell you whether they're pre-made or store-made. Just not capable of telling you that because they're, they're moist, they're tender, they're tasty. Oh boy. Here comes the pizza. This is one soggy crust. Actually, waiting for stuff to kind of fall off it. Just one soggy crust. Ooh. Question of a doubt, that came out of the oven before it should have. It's a Greek pizza, a lot of cheese, a lot of pepperoni.
So much cheese, I can't even taste the sauce. All right. I'm sitting here looking at things, thinking about things, and you have to sit here watching me looking at things, thinking about things, which is not what you're looking for. So let me uh, finish up, and we'll come back and share our thoughts. Okay, final thoughts at uh, Jewett City Pizza Palace in Jewett City, Connecticut, part of the town of Grizzled. The coleslaw was decent. It, it's the type that you buy commercially in a tub, however big that tub comes, and scoop it out and sell it. Nothing wrong with that. Some places take pride in it. Some places take pride in selling that type, and that's okay. It's, it's not bad coleslaw. It's just standard coleslaw, I guess. The meatballs were decent. They were a good size, tender, moist, heavy. Uh, I liked them. The pizza was was definitely a Greek pizza. It was loaded with cheese and loaded with pepperoni. So if you like a pizza with cheese and pepperoni, this might be the place for you. But based on the one pizza I got, and I don't know how they come out of there because as I'm, I'm sitting right across the street from the place, they have a small parking lot sitting here eating. It's 6 o'clock on a Thursday night, and I'm just watching car and person after person walking in and out, picking up food. They've been here for 41 years, so they're doing something right. But that pizza, to me, that crust was way undercooked. And, and just overall greasy, very greasy. Um, I try to keep it positive because I was thinking of showing you the piece of cardboard that comes under the pizza, but... Which is totally saturated, but I thought that's not keeping it positive, so we're not going to do that. So, they have a pretty full menu in there. They do grinders, they have dinners, they have uh, all kinds of stuff. You know, chicken parm dinners, they do hamburgers, they do... Uh, People were picking up fried fish in there, so they do they do a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, sometimes when you do too much, it hits you. But and like I said, it's this is just me talking. There, there's people walking in and out of this place uh, like nobody's business. So this is just my opinion, and there are many people who come here on a very regular basis that might disagree with me on this somewhat. I just, the pizza was not my type of pizza. Just a soggy, limp, undercooked crust. The top was pretty typical Greek, but the bottom just, whoa, not my thing. So, there you go. I guess I didn't keep it as positive as I should have, but I don't know what else to say. So, can't stress enough. Been here 41 years, so a lot of people like what they're pushing out here. I just, I want to keep pushing that on you because I don't want you to think I'm saying anything else. So, let's give it a score. 0 to 10. Jewett City Pizza Palace. Jewett City, Connecticut. Seven point four. Um, really nice people. Just the the pizza I had was not what I was hoping for. Uh, the meatballs were good. The coleslaw was good. So there you go. Jewett City Pizza Palace. Been here since the beginning of time. Seven point four. <laughs>